My group has been investigating uh, traumatic brain injury. What we do is we try to look at, at the behavior of water molecules and their environment within tissues. This tells us a lot. As you know, our, our brain is made up of mostly water. If the water uh, environment is disrupted, then possibly there we probably created some damage. And that's what diffusion tensor imaging and or in this new technique, diffusion kurtosis imaging is all about. And this is what uh, Sujal's work is extremely important for us because it allows us to visualize these microscopic or microstructural changes in the gray and white matter at the same time and also be very close to the basic science where you're doing microscopy. So this, uh, this opens up a window, of, uh, a window for us to visualize microscopic processes in the brain that we were otherwise unable to do in the past. So as compared to diffusion tensor imaging, diffusion kurtosis imaging deals with a much more complex uh, tensor structure, the kurtosis tensor. Currently, there's not yet a very good way of visualizing that. The Suter's work is, is a breakthrough that finally um, provide a way to visualize the kurtosis tensor in a very useful way and then very intuitive manner that will help the radiologist to find abnormal areas and then to understand what's really going on in the tissue microstructure.